What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over Palantir and how they just received a brand new pretty substantial contract. We're also going to be going over the massive catalyst that is coming up in Palantir's near future. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video so you are up to date on all of the different happenings going on with Palantir right now. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys enjoy this video, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you're notified every single time that I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and learn about the exact options that I am trading and which strategies that I am using to trade them. So if we go over and take a look at the chart of Palantir, we can see that it had an absolutely massive run up into the demo day event. So demo day was on the 26th. So we can see right here, Palantir went all the way from the $26 range all the way to the $35 range. And then after demo day, it broke through the $40 level and went all the way up until almost 45. Now the overall market had a pretty terrible finish to this week, which is why we kind of saw most stocks in general have a pretty significant pullback. And since Palantir went up so much, much. Uh, a lot of investors were taking profits and I think we're going to see a lot of people pile in very soon. Now, towards the end of this week, when everything that was crazy was happening in the market, we did see Palantir get a pretty substantial new contract. So if we come over here, we can see that Palantir Inc.'s Accord to provide software uh, to mining giant Rio Tinto. So data analytics software provider Palantir signed a multi-year agreement to provide its foundry platform, that's important, to the UK-based mining, uh, mining titan Rio Tinto. So as we saw in the demo day event, the foundry platform is kind of like a very intricate dashboard where it integrates all of the incoming data that the company can send to the Foundry platform. And it kind of makes it very simple so that uh, Rio, Tin Rio Tinto is uh, able to basically make very data-driven decisions very quickly. This article then makes a pretty bold claim that I want to go over. So basically they say that the shares uh, have been caught up in the short squeeze frenzy that has sent GameStop to the stratosphere since Friday and roiled markets generally. Palantir stock has soared 48% in the past five days. Now, there's no real reason to say this. If we take a look over here, we can see that the short float for Palantir is only 9.31%, and they have a total float of about a billion shares. So uh, I don't think we saw any type of short squeeze for Palantir, and even if we did, the rally wouldn't have stopped at 45. It would have kept continuing. So if we go back to this article, they do provide some more updates. So as for the agreement, Palantir software will integrate raw data from a multitude of disparate sources into a representation of critical mining operations. So that's basically what the Foundry platform is able to do. As I said before, uh, we saw this in Demo Day. This is a very important software that Palantir has. A lot of different governments are using this software, especially uh, to in order to handle the pandemic. So we come down, Rio Tinto will be able to make uh, decisions and take actions using a single source of truth that combines operational and transactional data. This data resource will be available with the necessary security and privacy controls to its frontline and office base workers. So specifically, Palantir said the move builds on a number of successful data integration projects explored last year across various business units. So recently, they also expanded into the Japanese market with two or three uh, new contracts. And those contracts kind of serve as the benchmark for future business in getting into the Japanese market. So now let's get into the massive catalyst that Palantir has coming up. And that event is going to be Palantir's earnings date. So right now, this date is only projected to be on February 11th. Now, I'm assuming right now that this date is going to get pushed back because it's only about two weeks away and we haven't really seen an announcement. If the earnings are actually going to be on February 11th, Palantir will be announcing most likely this week that February 11th will be when its earnings date will take Take place. But either way, Palantir is due to report its earnings in the near future, and they have an absolutely insane expectation to meet for this earnings. So if we come over here, we can see that the Army Vantage reaffirms Palantir partnership with a $114 million agreement, and this happened in late December. So basically what this contract was for, uh, it was for a base year uh, and then three option years. So the Army Vantage program basically liked the uh, service that Palantir provided uh, the army so much that they decided to uh, issue an additional $114 million for the second year of this contract. So that's a lot of good news. So they brought in $114 million of revenue in Q4 of 
for just from that alone. And then we also saw that Palantir continues vital NHS work with a $31.5 million contract. So this was also uh, for the Foundry platform. So the Foundry will provide the NHS with a software platform for the secure, reliable, and timely processing of data while protecting the privacy of patients to enable NHS decision makers to best plan the use of resources and improve patient care. This was basically for the pandemic. If we come down a little bit further, uh, the personnel will use the Palantir Foundry to understand how the pandemic is spreading, identify risks to particularly particularly vulnerable populations, proactively increase healthcare and resources in emerging hotspots. That's very important. Ensure critical equipment is supplied to facilities with the greatest need. So we saw this in New York a lot in the United States that the hospitals and ICUs were getting overrun and the PPP equipment was running out. Uh, so Palantir was able to kind of use data analytics and kind of some operational uh, skills to figure out where all of these people needed to go and where uh, to send the equipment. So now, if you guys have watched any of my other previous Palantir videos, you know that I and a couple of you guys as well are up at a really crazy amount on our Palantir calls that we got for demo day and earnings. So let's take a look exactly what I am planning on doing what, uh, with this option position. So right now, it is currently up about 350%. We did see it go a lot higher uh, when Palantir was in the mid $40 range, uh, but I just wanted to hold. I thought Palantir was going to go higher, and since my... Uh, contracts are pretty deep in the money right now. I wasn't really that worried. So the exact contracts that I have is I have two of these $30 strikes for February 19th, and I bought them for about $1.40, $1.50 each. So that means I spent about $300 on this position. And you can see right now they're worth almost $1,400. At one point, these contracts were worth about uh, $1,300 each, which was absolutely insane. I think they went even as high as $15 each, making this position worth $3,000. So that was almost a 1,000% gain on this play that I have been calling out. So basically what my plan is to do now is I was hoping that this expiration date was going to cover Palantir's earnings. Right now, uh, it's all speculation that Palantir is going to report on February 11th. I think they will, but we're going to have to see something from the company coming out this week uh, in order to solidify that. If Palantir uh, comes out with the information that they are going to be releasing their uh, uh, quarter four 2020 earnings later than I had expected, then I'm going to sell this position, uh, both of them, and then I'm going to use half of the money uh, that I received from the proceeds of the sale of the position and get a different options play for the earnings run up. So let's say that Palantir actually says that their earnings are going to be coming out on February 25th. So I would go to this March 5th expiration date and say that the highest that my contracts go are what they are trading at right now. So I can spend about $600 on this options play. So I would probably grab, if I was going to be smart, I would probably grab these 44s or 45s. I would probably do uh, two or three of these contracts. Uh, now, since that I am playing with the profit in Palantir, I'm okay with spending a little bit more money on this position. Now, if you watch my previous options trading video, I said that when the implied volatility is higher, that means that you're paying a lot more of a premium for these contracts because there is a higher expected move coming in the stock. Now, even after demo day and uh, with earnings coming up, we didn't see this implied volatility drop that much. So Palantir is expected to have a very big move in the near future. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you found some value in it. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on that notification bell and comment down below your thoughts on what you think Palantir is going to get to in terms of its price by its earnings date. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video.